This video is about a Windaroo single cutaway solid body double humbucker guitar that I recently purchased used. The reason I'm making this video is because you can't find any information online about these guitars so I thought I'd point out a few of the uh, little things that I've noticed along I the way. I dread to think what the original purchaser paid for it because I can assure you it was in an almost unplayable state when I got it. So, let's start off, shall we? This is the headstock. Standard, typical, normal headstock, non-locking tuners. Overall, fit and finish, reasonable. There are still, I don't know if they'll show up, but there are still casting marks visible on all the tuning machines. Truss rod cover, nothing spectacular. When I purchased the guitar, the nut, the nut action at the first fret was horrendous. There was no way to play any open chord without every note that you fretted going very sharp. On down the guitar we go. Onto the body. Reasonable looking flame maple finish. Sad part is, I suspect it's a photocopy. It really does look like a photocopy. The switch gear is definitely not designed for appearances. However, it feels beefy. I equate it to uh, to a Russian manufactured part. It seems like it may not be very elegant, but it will certainly stand up to some punishment. Now here's something that I found really, really strange. If you look closely, you will notice that the stop bar is not center. Which is alright, because neither is the the bridge. Now it's adjustable. It's very similar to other adjustable bridges. I haven't got the intonation perfect yet, but it's getting there. Now don't get me wrong, even though it's almost guaranteed that it's a photocopy, the guitar still does look really nice. When you look too closely, you start noticing problems. There's an issue with the finish on the binding. Windaroo guitar. It's going to take a little more work, but it may just be playable after all is said and done. And as you can see by the other two offerings, I'm not out doing this to spend a fortune. So for a little time and effort, you can have a decent guitar. I'd also like to give a big shout out to Davey4557. Davey, you let me know that it's okay to pick up some tools and do work on my own guitar. So thank you very much. So, what have I done to this thing so far? Well, I put on a set of strings. They are DRs. And I was very impressed with their Dragon Skins, which is a coated string, on my Yamaha Acoustic. However, their colored strings, not so good. They're uh, a very dead sounding string on the lower strings. So when the time comes, they're going to get changed out for something completely different. The other things that I've done, I set the neck action at the 12th fret. 
I know it doesn't say much just pointing the camera at it. And the other thing I've done is I've started setting the neck, the nut action. If you can see, I don't know if the camera will show it. Well, it doesn't really show it. Those strings were very, very high up. And as I said before, as soon as you touch them, your notes are all sharp. It's still a little out. I'm not exactly certain what's going on, but they have to come down considerably. Again, it's a very pretty guitar. The, uh, the, knobs, the knobs actually work very smoothly. I was quite impressed. Considering how cheaply made the rest of the guitar seems to be,